Hi, this is Yosipin Bhartia and we are here at VMware Explorer and today we are here with us Caroline Seymour, VP of Product Marketing at Zerto. Uh, first of all, thanks for joining me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Good to be here. Thank you for uh, asking me. Yeah, and this is the first time I'm talking to somebody from Zerto, so I would love to know a bit about the background of the company itself. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Zerto was founded in 2009, and that's when we first introduced hypervisor-based replication. And really, that was about transforming how disaster recovery was done. We brought our unique um, continuous data protection uh, capabilities with our uh, replication, the journal, the application-centric recovery to the market. And so that's been a core focus for uh, since 2009, and we now have over 9,500 customers in about um, 100 different countries. And what you typically find is that those customers range from Small, you know, probably more mid-sized to to large enterprise organisations, and it really does span a multitude of uh, industries as well. We was particularly strong from a healthcare perspective, financial, government, um, manufacturing, but really it does span across all of the um, industries. When we look at uh, data replication or backup, but there are different terms, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. we try to look at the same problem, bringing the data back, you know, there has to be a copy of data. Where is it in the priority list of the companies, you know, when they look at, hey, we have to add new feature versus we also have a backup strategy or replication strategy. Right. So where do you see how much awareness is there a company like that? We do want it or you're like, we need to have this. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting because Backup, typically, it, we think of it as periodic or snapshots. You're taking a snapshot of the data four hours ago, the eight hours ago. Backups, you tend to do nightly. The difference with replication and the, and the technology that we have in place is the fact that it, it, it replicates every, um, the, ch the changes over um, within, say, five seconds. You can determine through our journal and set different checkpoints. And so the, the, the difference is that you get a very low level uh, granular recovery. So say for example, that you are attacked with uh, ransomware, for example, say at 10 o'clock in the morning. With snapshots, if it was four hours ago, you can only recover to four, four hours previous. And so therefore there would be a four hour data loss gap or your nightly backup. Whereas with Zerto, you can actually recover to within five seconds of that attack. So you have five second data loss, which is basically you're mitigating any data loss at all. And the recovery time can be within minutes. And we are seeing, you know, the growing cases of ransomware attacks keep happening. So once again, yeah, so once again, uh, I'll go back to the point of uh, the awareness about having a replication strategy in place because this is something, uh, it's not adding a new feature that can be delayed. When the data is gone, it's gone. Yes. So, so talk a bit about what you're seeing in the market. How much you have to struggle with those, uh, the, the growing list of customers that you have to educate them versus right. they all want, all they want is much more control yes. over there. We did a, a survey, or we sponsored a survey with IDC. And IDC found within that survey of 500 respondents is the fact that 79% of those respondents had initiated a disaster recovery event in the last year. But what's really interesting too is that 69% of those um, said that they it was due to a ransomware or malware event. And so what's happening is that this is now becoming a disaster event. And so disaster recovery is becoming a priority for large organizations because they're seeing the need to be able to have that low level sort of recovery and they're considering it and declaring it a disaster. So that is one of the key things that we're seeing in the market. And we initiated last year, well, we've been enhancing our solution and we're up to 9.5 right now. And over the course of the last two or three years, we have been focusing very much on ransomware resilience uh, as what we need to do within our portfolio to support that. We've added in immutability, for example, where you've got immutability for AWS, Azure, 
um, S3 compatible and also Azure uh, Active Directory too. So having that immutability is almost ta table stakes now. Then we've added in a new Linux appliance so that it's adding that additional security for organizations. And then just a number of other enhancements to the platform and the platform you know, capabilities that we support. So we've been um, really focused on that and we have a, a big campaign around ransomware, ransomware recovery, and that's been very well received. We have a Concerto free edition that we launched last year. No, actually earlier this year, sorry. Earlier this year, we launched the free edition, which is proving to be um, very popular too for customers or prospects to be able to try it and uh, see how quickly that they can get up and running with a solution like Certo. If you look at the traditional IT world, you know, the, the problem is still there, you know, on-prem data, replication, backup is there. And then we look at the cloud native workloads, the, the, the thing, because we are not looking at one specific data center, we are looking at multi-clouds. We are looking at on hybrid cloud, we are within cloud, we are looking at clusters. So what kind of challenge is there that you see folks face, and once again, how is Zerto, and you did talk about, you know, some work that folks are doing, but the challenges are kind of different or same? You're right, in, in 2009, I mean, most companies were using on-premises, and don't get me wrong, on-premise is still around, and it's not going away, so really that hybrid environment, and, um, you know, we're still talking a lot here at VMware Explore, a number of customers who've just got on-premises. But to your point, cloud is really, this is a multi-cloud uh, theme here. But we, we started back in 2015 and added AWS um, as a DR target. And then we added Azure. We've added VMware on public cloud where we can support Google, Oracle Cloud, um, or any cloud that supports that public um, and S3 compatible. And so we're seeing a lot more companies now actually using the cloud as a DR target. What we're also seeing though is that obviously companies now have moved production workloads into say for example AWS and so now they need to be able to activate or orchestrate disaster recovery in the cloud. So that's a sort of gradual and last year we introduced Certo in cloud for AWS where you can um, have your production workloads in an EC2 instance, and you can actually fail over into another AWS instance. So we added that and we launched that last year. We also recognized that there are a lot of organizations that are re-architecting their applications into microservices like Kubernetes, and we launched Certo for Kubernetes last year as well. So we're seeing a, a you know an uptick on that. And so we brought our continuous data protection technology to the world of uh, Kubernetes. And so if you look at the um, story that we have and the capabilities that we can deliver in the cloud, so we can help organizations migrate to the cloud, uh, have the cloud as a DR target or a backup target, and if you've got in the cloud, you can actually uh, have a within the cloud DR, and you can also move your data around. So we can help organizations on that cloud journey that they have. One more thing that we're talking about these days a lot is edge computing. When we talk about edge, we are not talking about those small IT devices. We're also talking about edge data centers, which are like remote near the users. Uh, so is that within your radar? So yes, with regards to, to the edge and edge cloud, we um, last September, HP announced the acquisition of Zerto. So we're happy to be part of the HP family. But one of the key factors of that acquisition was the uh, integration of disaster recovery, the Zerto technology, into their edge to cloud platform, which is the HP GreenLake. And at HP Discover, which is their main event, uh, we announced the preview of the HP GreenLake 4 disaster recovery that's based on the Zerto technology. That's going to be GA later this year in uh, early November. So that's really a start to, to help facilitate the, the edge to cloud and the ability to be able to do that. So you can orchestrate your disaster recovery within the data services cloud console and within the great GreenLake platform.
I mean, data production is, is a big, you know, space. There are a lot of players, you know, some very well-established player which have been around for a while. Then there are a lot of players who were born in the cloud native world. They all bring different experience, different value. So how do you see yourself when we talk about being Caston or Trilio or, you know, Sios? Where do you fit up? Where do you see your position? Well, you're, you're right. This market is, is very crowded. Um, and so, you mentioned like Caston, Caston got acquired by Veeam. Veeam, uh, so you've got players like Veeam and um, Convolt, Veritas, Cohesity, you know, Rubrik. They're all, they've all come from the backup world. So the, um, and so, and we come from it, the different angle of the disaster recovery world. So we're coming at it from a different, um, a, a different way than they are and uh, that's been our core strength and that continues to be our core strength and certainly um, and it's exciting to be here at VMware Explore because a lot of our customers and we have a lot of very very happy customers here so it's good to be back face to face with our customers but the VMware but we are as I say breaking into the Kubernetes because that is the next evolution and we've brought our technology to the Kubernetes to Kubernetes world. Caroline, thank you so much for taking time out today. And not only talk about Zerto, but also look at the problem that is there. Not only, as you said, on-prem is not going to go away. I think exactly. we might even you know, go back to on-prem in a lot of use cases because cloud can do only so much. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and thanks for sharing you know, how the market is changing, how it's evolving, and how you're bringing those solutions to the customers. And as usual, I'd love to have you back on the show. This is the first time, so I'm happy yeah. to see you, but I'm looking forward to many discussions. Thank you. you. Um, this has been great, and I appreciate you asking me along, so thank you.